So today we have a lot on the agenda. First, I'm gonna talk to y'all about some updates that I have when it comes to the new Ibn line of lace melt sprays and the melting spray, and then also the spritz as well. So much information that I have to tell y'all. Second thing we're gonna talk about today is a full on investigation that I did with the new lace melt spray line by Ibn and the melting spray pump by Ibn. Let's start off with these updates. Have you seen in my two previous videos, After further investigation, I found out that the new Ibn Lace Melt Spray and the old Ibn Lace Adhesive Spray are not to be compared. When y'all saw my last video, you saw that I even said in the video that there was conflicting messaging when it came to what this new line was supposed to be used for. And I was looking at how to actually use this. There were some conflicting information that I was getting. So on the website, it says that you use the spray just like a regular lace adhesive spray. And I looked at some of the influencers as well. They were doing the same thing. They were using it as a regular lace adhesive spray. And then I went to their IG and the girl was using it as like a topper. But just from some digging and snooping and asking questions, it seems like the new line is literally just supposed to be, just like the can says, a lace melting spray. But through my investigation, I proved that you can actually use this as an adhesive as well because it holds just like the red can and it has a good melt as well, just like the old line. New lines of the Ibn Lace Melt Spray and the Ibn melting spray are supposed to be head to head. And you would think that because it literally says that in the name, I know, but still. As y'all know, I did an investigation in a previous video where I did the Ibn melting spray, the pump versus spritz sprays to see which one was the better melting spray. What I came to conclusion is that Fantasia and Ibn were the same when it came to melt, but Ibn added an extra little hold to your adhesive. And when I tested out what well, Pump It Up versus Ibn, they were literally equally the same when it came to the melt and the extra hold that it gives. This brings me to my most important point. Although all the sprays melted the same, the ingredients is what is the main factor in my decision of why Ibn will be the product that you should use over the other two. All three of these brands are alcohol based. Now there are good alcohols and there are bad alcohols when it comes to your hair, your skin, and even your lace. Unfortunately, Pump It Up and Fantasia both have these so-called bad alcohols in them. When you look at the label of both of these products, the first ingredient is some type of alcohol and it says alcohol denatured or SD alcohol 40B. You're probably like, girl, what is it? What is that? Who is her? Who is her? Simply put, these are drying agents. They out to get us, y'all. You see on the back of a hairspray or any spray or any hair product, and it's, if it says denatured alcohol or SD alcohol 40B, that is a drying agent. It's known to dry out your hair, your skin, and since you're putting this on your lace, your lace as well. This is literally an ingredient that activates fast drying properties. When it comes to Ibn, Ibn actually does not identify what kind of alcohol is in their products. It literally just says alcohol. And it's like, girl, ha, what does that mean? <laughs> when it comes to Pump It Up and Ibn, they do have vitamins and silk proteins in both of them. So I'm guessing even if Ibn also has this denatured alcohol, maybe those little bit of oils and vitamin E's and stuff like that that are in it, maybe it helps calm back with the dryness. Now both Pump It Up and Ibn both have those, so they're still kind of neck and neck. And that's probably why I said those two products are literally the same exact thing. I also said in my previous video that I don't know how much of the ingredients is actually in each of these products because they don't give you a percentage and also they are the second to the last ingredient on the uh, Ibn's label. I also found when I posted a video on TikTok about my findings, previous findings, people were saying, yeah, you know, pump it up. It lasts me two weeks. I really like that product. When it comes to Fantasia, they're like, girl, this be lifting. It's crunchy. And now that makes sense why. I would say with that information, Fantasia is out. <laughs> Throw her away. We, we ain't got no use for her because she's not doing her job and she's actually damaging us. So we don't need that. <laughs> if you have not had issues with the old line of Ibn products, keep using it. 
you do not need a lot of these products that they're throwing out i'm gonna be honest if you've been having a good time with them and they've been working keep with it if you have had issues with the old ibn line then you may want to try one of the melting sprays from ibn's new line to help you out with the melting process also think about it the black can is the one that i use because that one has the best holes but just be clear that the black can is also the harshest of them like i said i can get a good melt out of the ibn spray but it's so harsh that doing touch-ups too much is going to dry out because it's so harsh of a product but like i also uncovered in my previous video the new line and the old line have exactly the same ingredients in the blue can in the whole line of ibn can literally are the same exact ingredients because what we didn't know is that it, ibn already had the carotene in it already helping us save our edges or whatever it says that it does new ibn pump and pump it up are very very similar when it comes to the hold and the melt but if i'm going to give it to one product i'm going to say bump out the pump it up and stick with ibn here's why though when it comes to the ingredients i would much rather have the same exact ingredients being put on my head than mixing in a whole other ingredient list of ingredients from pump it up along with the chemicals that are already on in the ibn as well because let's remember ladies and gents in these and thems this is all chemicals at the end of the day so from a health standpoint I'm going to go with Ibn because at least the ingredients are all the same ingredients. And you are not mixing and matching and combusting. Next thing you know, you're going to start a fire on your lace and you don't even know why. It's because you're mixing, girl. We're doing too much mixing. We don't need to do that. So those are my updates when it comes to this whole Ibn melt lace, melt and spray, pump it up. Girl, I'm done. Now we're going to move on to the actual investigation of this video. In this investigation, I investigated Ibn's new lines of melting sprays, the Ibn Lace Melt Spray Can and the Ibn Melting Spray in a Pump Bottle. I tested this product over a span of two days just to see if it gave a little extra hold and how good the melts really were and to see if there really was a difference. I used a black can as my adhesive and I only did like one layer and then I did not melt my lace from that point. I just put the layer on, put the lace on and that was it. I even left some pieces of the lace lifted up a little bit just to see if the lace spray would do a little extra work for me because sometimes I want my, want my, you know, I'd be missing a couple pieces sometimes. So I just wanted to see if the melting sprays would actually hold those down. And then I applied the purple can on one side of my head and then I applied the pump on the other side of my head. From the application, the purple can was just a lot easier to apply on my head because it does spray just like the aerosol. So it has a more direct controlled hit when you're applying it to your lace as opposed to the pump, which girl, if y'all saw my other video, I wasn't lying. You can't lose booty that. You can't lose booty that spray because that spray goes every where so the best way to apply this spray is either using your finger and putting it on your finger and pressing it back into your lace you can use a makeup sponge and apply it that way or what i've seen people also do is apply it really close to their head where you're getting like a little drop and then you're kind of pressing it into your lace that way that can get a little messy because it is a thicker consistency than the can as well so it does get you give you a little drip drip you do get a little drip I don't, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> also, the pump dries slower than the can. The pump has a much thicker, thick. She's a thick girl. She's a thick girl, okay? So she dries a little bit slower than the can does. One tip I wanna give is when it comes to either one of these sprays, do not over spray. I see you girls really putting it on heavy in these videos, and you're wondering why it's crunchy. You're wondering why it's not lasting you long because honestly, when it comes to certain hair products, a lot of hair products, more is not better. So be very, very careful with how much you're putting on your lace. Just enough to get a little wet, you know? <laughs> After I melted it, I will say that they both give a really good, strong, extra added hold to the adhesive that you already have on your head. They're very, they're honestly equal so for the pieces that i left up the sprays actually did a good job with keeping them down and i didn't have any lifting 
Here's an up close and personal view. And here's a view that if like, you know, if you were taking pictures, if you're just like regularly outside and nobody's all up in your face, this is what they both look like. I will say that they both were still holding strong the next day. And they also honestly melted even better the next day. I do not use a melting uh, melting band when I'm sleeping because that just that's too much extra heat and that's how you get premature lifting. But what do y'all think? Do they look the same? Did one look better than the other? Have you tried either one of these? And what were your results? I'm here just to investigate, just to see, so y'all can see how these products work. It's up to you to make the conscious decision to buy these products or not. You can help us all out by giving your input in the comments if you've used either one of these products. Please like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you everyone have a great night bye